Hi guys, today's tutorial is on this look and I was actually able to film it while working on a bridal photo shoot. So let's get started. For her primer, I'm using Painterly by MAC. To start this look, I'm using the first color from the Paris palette by Sigma, and this is just a very shimmery color. Um, for her brow bone, I'm just using a regular matte vanilla color. Here I'm using Saddle just to create that transitional color on her crease. I'm using the 217 brush by MAC. So I'm going to be using a lot of matte colors. Um, now I'm just applying Brune again with the 217 and then blending it with the 224. And uh, Brune is just a beautiful brown color and so mixing the, the saddle and Brune together just kind of gives me a, a beautiful brown color. Now this color is Coppering again by MAC and this is one of my favorite colors. I think it's such an amazing color to apply mainly on the inner corners of the eyes. Um, but inner corners, but I mean high up, so on the crease again, and just really blend everything together. I'm using the 266 brush by MAC and applying this eyeliner. This one in particular is by Inglot, and it's just a really dark black, and it's waterproof, so it doesn't really move or anything, but when you apply it, you can also blend it for a more of a smoky effect, but you do have to be very quick with this product. You can't just you know apply it and wait for a little bit and then start to blend because it dries really quickly. So you have to be fast when it comes to blending. Using a straight brush, I'm just applying a black eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. I'm using just the pencil brush by MAC and the color bronze again by MAC and this is one of my favorite eyeshadows by them. It's such a beautiful bronze color and really blending everything together on the bottom lash line. And of course doing the same thing on the other side. I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Gold Pigment and I love using this with my fingers, just a small amount on the center of her eyes and then blending everything together and this just gives a beautiful golden look to the makeup. And applying some mascara. I'm going back in with a straight brush using a black eyeshadow and this is just the black from the Sigma palette again and really intensifying this look and blending everything. I'm applying some false eyelashes to intensify this look even more. I'm just lifting her lashes one last time with mascara and this time I'm just applying it on, on the roots of her lashes because I don't want to get too much mascara on her false eyelashes. To me it just doesn't look clean when you do that so I try to keep the false eyelashes clean from mascara. Okay, almost done with this look. I'm just intensifying the black again using uh, just a black eyeshadow and a straight brush to apply it. And then I'm blending it with the double-sided Stila brush number 15. By the way, for a complete product list, visit my blog and I'll have the link below in the description box. I decided to darken the outer corners a little more, so using the other side of the Stila brush, I'm just applying Brune again and blending it with the 224 brush by MAC. After wiping all the fallouts, I'm just applying this Kiehl's Ultra Moisture uh, Moisturizer and this is just a really rich moisturizer and it holds your foundation really well. So especially if you have dry skin, I think this is a very good uh, moisturizer. I'm using Makeup Forever HD on her skin today and um, she has really good skin so I'm using a little bit of the Makeup Forever HD and mixing it with the face and body foundation by MAC just to create more of a softer finish on her skin. By the way, I'm going back and forth with the 130 brush by MAC and then buffing it with just a buffing kabuki brush by Delium Tools. Um, okay, this is her concealer. I'm using NC15 in the Pro Longwear line by MAC and then just applying it with the 130 brush and really blending it. You can use your fingers to blend it or um, you know a sponge, whatever works best. I'm 
I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set her makeup. For her brows, I'm using the same straight brush, and by the way, this brush is by MUD. I bought it when I was going to school there a long time ago, and I was in love with it, so I went back and bought another one recently because my old one was falling apart. It's just a straight brush, and it's number 400. Anyway, this is Cork by MAC, and I'm just filling her eyebrows in. Alright, it's time to highlight the face. I'm using the Candlelight Kevin Aquan Highlighter, and this is just a beautiful highlighter. I'm using it for her brow bone, her cupid's bow, high points of her cheeks, as well as the top of her nose. And then moving forward to blending everything and contouring, I'm using the Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark and just a Kabuki brush to uh, contour her skin. I really like the Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC because I feel like this line just has a lot of awesome products and this is one of them so I buy medium deep in this product as well as dark which is which is what I used on her and I feel like those two in my kit just saved my life because it really works with most skin types some last minute touches I'm just adding a hint of gold um, this is gold mined and uh, really blending everything and just making sure everything is perfect because we are almost done with this look. Okay, for her lips, I'm using Cream Cup, which is one of my favorite lipsticks by MAC. And I'm just applying this very lightly on her lips. I'm using Subculture by MAC to define her lips very lightly. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments below and uh, we're almost done with this look so thanks so much for watching and thank you all for subscribing to my channel and if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for more of my videos and fun giveaways coming your way. Thanks a million for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye!